This week, the hotel inspector is lost at sea. Where's the water? This is not normal behaviour. Hey. I did not expect this. Out with the old. In with oh, the don't new. break that. The piano room is doing a very good impression of the headless chicken. It makes you look like a bonkers person. Yeah. Hello! Falmouth, one of Cornwall's most popular tourist destinations and home to the two-star Eden Lodge. Owned and run by partners Lynn Self and Ziggy Broom, it's a cottage full of Cornish charm. The style of the hotel is old, piddledy, piddledy. It's not got any particular style, has it? It's like, it's like us, isn't it, really? Hello, Eden Lodge. The toilet roll isn't screwed to the wall because I think the wall's a bit unsafe. Ten years ago, Eden Lodge was transformed from Lynn's family home into a ten-bed B&B. When I first came with Lynn, I did all the rooms, painted them quickly. Oh, you never? Know, most of them I did. Not all of but them. But lately, hold on, but lately you've done, you've taken over rooms. And you done didn't. Them. Having worked 30 years as a nurse, Lynn now turns her care and attention to the guests. I temporarily theme the rooms to go with the guests. I've got this uh, Eiffel Tower. At the moment, we've got a French lady staying, so her duvet cover says boudoir. While Ziggy is all hands on deck. Bath's got a crack in it, so I've painted it blue. You can go that way. And you can go even lower than that. You can go that way. Crazy, mad, eccentric. <laughs> but it's not all fun and games on board the good ship Eden Lodge. With finances going down the drain, the couple have been forced to close their indoor pool. Well, it costs £35 a day to run that, so I shut it. And working together 24-7 is taking its toll. Well, I find it quite hard work to keep stable, if you must, if the truth is known. Yeah, I'm a toilet man. Don't, <laughs> be, don't do that. <laughs> Silly. You can be extremely immature, and that just drives me nuts. Don't say, I don't do that. I don't like it. It's not, we're not children. Lynn and Ziggy's dream of owning a buoyant B&B &B has drifted well off course. We've got massive mortgage, we've got massive debts. And it may all be too little, too late. I got a, a final notice from the company that I had debts with to say that they were going to repossess my property. Enter the hotel inspector. If that was it, the sign is virtually covered by overhanging trees. I think my worst fears for Alex arriving is that she won't see what everybody loves about the place, which is homeliness. But can industry expert Alex Polizzi bail out the struggling Eden Lodge? I'm open to all the <coughs> suggestions that she might come up with. Oh, it remains to be seen. I shall await her arrival. To help get the B&B &B back on course, Alex will stay the night. Hi. Hi. I'm Alex. Hello, Alex. I'm Lynn. Very nice to meet I'm you. I'm Ziggy nice and welcome to, to Eden Lodge. Thank you so much for inviting me. Would you like a cup of tea? Do you always ask your guests? We always ask we our guests if they'd like tea. That's very nice yes. of you. I won't on this occasion, though. I think I'll go straight up the room, if that's okay. all right. OK, no problem. Yeah. I'll take you up. See you later. Eden Lodge's rooms range from just £25 to £35 per person per night, including breakfast. This is one of our best rooms. Ziggy's chosen to put Alex in his favourite yellow room. Darling, do you have sunglasses? Whose idea was it to paint this like an acid trip? Mine. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, it's a long time since I've been surprised by a room. That's a very nice touch. That's my wife. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Donnie, I'll have a look around and then I'll come and find you. Thank you. Bye. <sighs> I've never experienced anything like this before. I mean, I'm so blown away by the colour that that's virtually the only thing I can notice. 
Downstairs, a nervous Lynn worries about Alex's first impressions. Did she like my cushion? She loved your cushion. Okay. She said about your cushion. I said, unfortunately, it wasn't there. Uh, I definitely wouldn't have put her in that room, but still. Wouldn't you? She's in there now, so I feel that... She's had a hard job up there trying to find fault. What on earth is going on here? <laughs> Someone's forgotten to paint a bit of the wall, clearly, um, and then decided to make a feature of it. Of course, you'll find things wrong, and I, I, I would dictate. So you're saying there's something. What you're no, saying by that is you're saying there's something wrong with this hotel, star. this, this bed and breakfast. We are on our knees because we haven't got enough money coming in. Go out there and find fault. Well, don't be so silly. Of course, there's fault. In there's what? wallpaper hanging off. There's some small fault. It's not fault. small fault. Don't be so it ridiculous. Is. And you're making yourself look an absolute twat if that's what you think. <laughs> There's a definite Italian theme happening. Look, the Bridge of Sighs in Venice. Do you think this is here just for me? I do hope so. All this decoration is like putting a sticking plaster on an amputation. A bit pointless, really. And the remaining bedrooms also fail to meet the hotel inspector's high standards. Well, for a start, I would not like to stay in a room that could be locked from the outside and that I had no access to. The family room offers a poor reflection. I mean, who gets up one morning and decides to put a little mirror here with a boat in front of it? And why would you put a mirror at this height? You can't see your full body in it and you can't even sit at the desk and make up your face. And all these silly useless knickknacks everywhere that I'm sure that she thinks makes the place feel homely. But actually, it's just a whole load of tat. And if things couldn't get any worse... <sighs> well, this is definitely my least favourite room so far. Someone is trying far too hard. Whose idea was it to make the Lady of the Night gauze? Although, of course, you do have this to put you in the mood. Everything in here is just very ad hoc. It feels temporary, it feels slightly unsafe. It feels pretty depressing, actually. With the bedrooms more hapless than homely, Alex wants the lowdown on Eden Lodge's level of vacancies. What's your occupancy been throughout August? Well, I don't really know what the occupancy's been. What do you think? 90% or something, hasn't it? It's not 90%. Well, nearly 100% full. 90% is nearly full. Yeah, I know, but that means every day in August. Yeah, that's exactly mm. right. Not just one day <laughs> when we've only got one bedroom free. Yeah. I would say 60%. Yeah. Off the top of my head. OK, but do you know how much it costs you to put a room on? We have tried to cost how much it is, but actually we don't know what, that other, what, what it is. How do you think this business affects your relationship? Uh, I mean, you really irritate me, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you do. I can't Yeah, really. I buy you both for sticking out so long. Yeah. Um, so too many hours, not enough money. Is that yes. summarised that well enough? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They have a number of problems here. Their taste is one, and they literally have no idea about what is making the money and what isn't. So I don't know where to start tomorrow morning. For Lynn and Ziggy, will it be sink or swim? I did not expect this. This is not normal behaviour. Hello! Hotel inspector Alex Polizzi is on a Cornish crusade to rescue the two-star Eden Lodge. Partners Lynn and Ziggy have struggled to turn a profit. We haven't got any savings, we've got massive mortgage, we've got massive debts. And working together 24-7 is taking its toll. What do you mean I don't switch on? You know, no, you get ridiculous. tired. Oh, what a stupid thing to say. In order to see its shortcomings, Alex has stayed the night in one of their ten home-decorated rooms. I slept quite well. Everything's clean. Beds, I have to say, they get a double tick. There is a mattress protector on the bed. There are pillow protectors on the pillows. Basics are covered. Alex is keen to continue her tour of Eden Lodge, starting with the downstairs guest lounge. Well, this is one of the more depressing sitting rooms. I can't imagine anyone ever sits in here for a minute. 
not unless it's to contemplate their own deaths. The combination of shire horses, plates, and funny Edwardian ladies, and kind of Aboriginal art on the piano is really unappealing. And this is a huge, lovely room. It is such a waste of space. With the room hitting the wrong note, Alex ventures outside. This could be a really nice area for guests, except as everything in this building, it's very decrepit. The smoking shelter that's falling apart. This rug, which doubtless is hiding something unsightly beneath it that needs fixing. It's a shame they just don't seem to be making the most of their assets. But the worst is yet to come. Oh, my goodness. I did not expect this. This is, this is like a hoarder's stash. Who thinks it's acceptable to just chuck things into an empty pool? There's a lawnmower in there, for goodness sake. It's a shame, because actually Eden Lodge doesn't have that much to pride itself on. And this is something that potentially could make the money. I know pools are expensive to run and to heat, but still, at least you wouldn't leave it as this eyesore. This is not normal behaviour. Alex feels Lynn and Ziggy have been hiding Eden Lodge's problems far too long. I think, in a way, you've got cabin fever. So you have been here, in this building, yeah. for so many years, and plodding along and desperately trying to plug the holes in the dike that you kind of don't see it for what it is anymore. Uh -huh. And I think somehow I've got to make you see it as other people see it. So I thought, let's go outside okay. and see the place as someone arriving here for the first time would. OK? okay? Yeah. Hope it'll be a good exercise. Okay. Come with Brilliant. me. If Lynn and Ziggy want to start making money, they're going to have to make the hotel more attractive to guests, starting with the underwhelming welcome. First thing you must recognise is this is not an easy place to find. I drove past it twice before yeah. seeing that sign. And it still says you have a swimming pool, which you don't anymore. Also, we know there's lots of B&Bs and hotels in Falmouth. If someone misses you two or three times driving past, they may just give up and go to one of the other places that they can yeah. see clearly marked. Yeah. yeah? Yeah, that's true, yeah. OK, onward. Next, the guest lounge. This is my least favourite room in the house. Never. Really? Well, I mean, does anybody ever sit in here? Not really. And no. have you never asked yourselves why? No. <laughs> Honestly, I, 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 there's just no way that I'd want to sit here of an evening. It's an underutilised space, and it is a space that should be making you some money. Follow me. And finally, the refreshing dip that's turned into a tip. How on earth do you justify this? This okay. was the start of fun. This was all green and horrible, and I painted it about four years ago. To the I am not colour. talking about the decor. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> hello. Uh, uh, Who thinks it's yeah. normal to have a lawnmower in a pool? Yeah. At which point did you decide that this was going to become the family dump? Oh, that's Lynn. She's all in stuff. I started so just to child, put a few it? things in because I was, um, you know, busy. I thought, I'll put that in there, I'll put that in there, and then it just got out of hand, really. Well, this is definitely... I have started to clear it. ...way out of hand. Yeah. And actually, you know what, darling? It makes you look like a bonkers person. Yeah. This yeah. is... We have got to find a way to make, again, this an asset that yeah. makes money for you, whether it's as a pool or something else. Yeah. I think Alex is probably on the ball and right about what she said. She's definitely right um, about all your old classmates. It's not all rubbish to me, but so... Um, it's clattering the rooms It's up. not clattering the rooms. It's perfect. Though. I'll tell you, I was shocked about the lounge, though. Yeah, I was shocked about the lounge. Yeah, I, I like thought lounge. she would have liked the lounge, but... Really, yeah. What's his name, Celia? Yeah, I suppose it could still have all those things. Needs a bit of painting and tiny, yeah. tiny, a bit of wallpaper's a bit curly, but apart from that... Yeah. Alex has a plan to save Eden Lodge and Lynn and Ziggy's working relationship. The most important thing in going forward is that you two have got to get your lives back. 
You can't even see the wood for the trees. You're kind of in a fog of tiredness. And so that means you don't make very good decisions. Alex also thinks that Lynn and Ziggy need to broadcast their budget status. I want you to really embrace and be proud and publicise the fact that you are the cheapest place to stay in Falmouth that is not a campsite. Yeah. So I think we need to really make sure that we find a way to let everybody know yes. that you are doing this this wonderful bed and breakfast service, you're hospitable, you like guests, yeah. and you are cheap. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Up, yeah. Finally, to increase out-of-season occupancy levels, Alex wants the couple to offer exclusive use of the property for large parties. You know, a family get-together in Cornwall ends up costing you an awful lot of money. Yeah. Thousands, in fact. Mm. So this is an, a different alternative. It is a, an exclusive use on a budget, again. Yeah. I think that would suit you. You would like the people. Yes. It suits the building. Yeah. To help, Alex will restyle the family bedroom and yellow room to a standard more fitting to today's budget traveller. Quite simply and on a budget so yeah. that you can see how easy it is to replicate that. Yeah. In return, she wants Lynn and Ziggy to take more pride in the place, declutter and get a grip on their figures. I need to work out whether it's worthwhile to get the pool up and running again. Yeah. And I can't do that without the figures. Please, I need you to be more business like because if you're going to survive in this business, yeah. you've got to start making money. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's a good idea. Life's a short thing. No yeah. one writes, I wish I'd worked harder on their headstone. No. Alex departs, hoping her words will spur Lynn and Ziggy into some much needed action. I am worried about some of the suggestions. I'm a bit worried about the people, the whole house taken over with people. But I'm, I'm willing to give it a try. We're both willing to try Absolutely. what the. Uh, what was suggested to us. They've got an awful lot to do before I get back. Goodness only knows if I'll manage to do it. I think we're really determined to do this. Absolutely, massively determined to do it, yeah. Make a difference. Yeah. It's a new day, and work swiftly begins on redecorating the two bedrooms. What I was trying to achieve is to give them a template for the rest of their um, bed and breakfast. Eden Lodge was rather old-fashioned and not particularly appealing, and I was trying to bring it into this century. Alex has also called in a pool expert to give Ziggy a second opinion on running costs. I would think you should be budgeting about £50 a week. That's very good. I was running at about £25 to £30 a week, a day, sorry, not a week, a day. That's much more affordable. With the pool a more viable option, the couple turn their attention to decluttering. Yeah, I am sorry to see them go. It's a bit of a painful process for me, but I'm going with it. That could go back in the room, look. The lion witch and the wardrobe. You go through the wardrobe <laughs> <laughs> into another room. I'm sure Ziggy's going to take the decluttering task seriously because I'm sure that some of the stuff that's around here annoys him as much as it does me. Where's the water? <laughs> oh, God. I think Lynn will find my suggestion that she declutters very hard to deal with. I don't feel very relaxed about it. I feel quite, it's quite stressful, actually, because it looks so bad. It's actually worse than I thought it was. Ziggy's hands-on approach isn't winning many fans. I think Ziggy's a joke, basically. Well, that's rubbish. He's like a loose cannon. Lynn! I found your green curtains. And when he throws an impromptu yard sale to cash in on their unwanted clutter... What about that jacket over there? I see you in there. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, it could be you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to try it on? I don't, thank you. No. OK. It's not the gold rush he was hoping for. The market stall trading business is not doing very well. It's very difficult to work with him, especially if we're under pressure like we are now. Can Alex get the troubled hoteliers back on track? Out with the old... Oh, don't do. break that. The piano room's doing a very good impression of the headless chicken. You just panicked. I don't seem to be doing anything, but there's loads I'm doing. Hotel inspector Alex Polizzi has been called to Eden Lodge, a struggling 10-bed B&B in Falmouth, Cornwall. 
Alex wants couple Lynn and Ziggy to clean up their pool, declutter their rooms, and market their £25 per night prices as some of the cheapest beds in Falmouth. What worries me is they've been pretty battered and exhausted over the last few years of running this place. So they've somehow got to find some more oomph in them to make this push. Hi. 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 How are you? Right, thank you. All the better for seeing you. Oh, yeah, good, I'm darling. I'm glad to hear yeah. it. How have you been getting on with the pool task? Because I sent Nigel in to have that meeting with you. He's advised mm. us what to do with the pool, and he's brought the cost down to about £50 a week. So that makes it a lot yeah, more viable. It does. Yes, definitely. And what about all the junk? Yeah, it's all cleared <laughs> Excuse out. Excuse me, it's I mean your out. precious possessions that happen yeah. to be temporarily housed. Yeah, That's right. We've, we've <laughs> taken them lots to charity shops. Good for you. Some we to the have tip. got some to the tip. Is it making you feel better? I did find taking the pictures down, you know, it doesn't look very good. What, in the dining room? Yeah. Well, we can discuss it. I didn't yeah. say that you weren't allowed anything up. Yeah, that's right. I just want you to have a kind of clarity about what you have there. Yeah. Let's do the fun bit now, shall we? Leaving the pool as a work in progress, it's Alex's turn to show off her designs. I can't wait to show you. Your apprehension. In a bid to attract more customers, Alex has updated Lynn and Ziggy's home-decorated shocking yellow bedroom into a modern, bright and stylish room, full of homely Cornish charm, just like its hosts. Wow! Right. <gasps> My goodness! Looks like a different room. Can we charge 200 quid? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fabulous! Crikey. I know you thought it was funky, the yellow, but yeah. I think you could give up funky in return for having something grown up and calm. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. Do you oh. like that? Absolutely yeah. fabulous. If guests weren't booked in here tonight, I'd be up here. So let's go and look downstairs. Oh yeah. Next, Alex has turned the downstairs cluttered family bedroom into a light and bright room, inspired by its coastal connections complete with modern touches that would impress any discerning guest. Your new family room. Wow. Gosh. I've given you a bunk bed because if someone has only one child, they use one, but it yeah. is nice to be able to put two in without yeah. having to hoik a bed about the place. Yeah? Yeah. Come through into the grown-up bit. So. Wow. Oh, gosh. Do you like it? I love it. It's gorgeous. This yeah, it's really lovely. We've reused the bedside tables, we've yeah. reused the headboard. So it's all doable, yeah. you see. I mean, it's really, really it's the touches. We haven't done anything that dramatic yet. No. With Alex's refurbishment complete, it's time for Reed and Lodge to shout loud and proud about their revamped rooms. And the hotel inspector has a plan. This is where you have to work. Right. I have arranged for you to undertake a major marketing campaign around Falmouth today. Yeah. So, prepare yourselves to be professional, coherent. Yeah. No squabbling. No. Well. Yeah. You look excited, Ziggy. Yeah. Oh, I am. Thrilled. I look terrified. You'll be all right. Come on. Yeah. Come on. I hope that Lynn isn't going to be overwhelmed by the challenges I've got set up for her this afternoon. I think Ziggy may deal with it a bit better. First, Alex wants to unveil their new rebranded Eden Lodge sign. I have your new sign. Whoa! Is that, Whoa. Is that pretty? Gosh. Probably Falmer's cheapest B&B. That is what I want you to remember. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. This is what we're marketing you on. Yeah. You give a great service, you've got yeah. fantastic rooms, and you are cheap. So, what we want to do is make sure we grab people's attention. So that yeah. is going to be where your old sign is. Yeah. Right, on yeah. to the next bit. With Eden Lodge rebranded as Falmouth's cheapest B&B, &B, probably, it's time to get the promotional campaign on the road. Oh. Ten of these taxis wow. have screens mm -hmm. and they have 10,000 customers a week. Wow. So it means that your message is going to be getting out to a lot more people. I love that. Fantastic, yeah, it looks good. And if that wasn't enough... <laughs> you are on the side of a bus. I can't believe it. <laughs> That's that. fantastic. So. Right, look at that. The idea is yeah. that this goes everywhere. Yeah. 
So to get your message out there, be big, be bold, put it on a bus. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Oh. Oh, darling, are you happy? Yeah. Are they happy, tears? Yeah. OK, good. Right, come on, let's get on the bus. With Eden Lodge branding and signage sorted, Alex has a PR exercise to get them truly heard. I've set them up for the Pirate FM interview because I think it's very important that they reach out to the local community and the wider community in Cornwall. How are you? Nice so fine, nice to meet you. you. They need to get used to promoting their business and I think the more exposure they get to all the different ways they could do that, the better it is for them. Cornwall's largest radio station, Pirate FM, reaches over a quarter of a million listeners. The perfect platform for Lynn and Ziggy to pitch Eden Lodge as Cornwall's favourite budget getaway. But can they get the message across? Just remember that what I've been trying to instill in you is you are good value for money. You must remember that and you must be really proud of it. Good afternoon. Welcome to Cornwall's Pirate FM. I'm joined by some very special guests in the studio this afternoon. Welcome to Lynn and Ziggy, who run the Eden Lodge B&B in Falmouth. And I'll start just by asking you to tell us a little bit about your B&B. What's it like? Uh, well, our b and is in Falmouth, and it's quite an old building. It's in need of quite a lot of uh, decoration because of it being um, old. But um, we're getting there, and it's been done up. It's not quite the big sell Alex was looking for. Tell us about your swimming pool, because that's a real selling point for you guys, isn't it? How big is it? We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. Uh, it's quite a large swimming pool, but um, we don't know measurement-wise. We always forget what it is, but um, it, we've got a deep end and a shallow end. Time for some words of wisdom. You have a couple of really unique things. You're the only hotel, small hotel, and bit that B and B and Falmouth with a swimming pool. You're near enough to walk to, you know, restaurants and etc. Yeah. etc. Et yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why does your B&B stand out? Why should I come? Well, it's quite a unique place. It's quite near the beach. It's very near town. Lynn finally finds her promotional feet. Um, people feel that they're coming home from home, which is one of the comments we get quite a lot. And, uh, and it's very uh, reasonably priced. We're probably the cheapest place to stay other than a campsite in Falmouth, so... So the cheapest B&B, that's the marketing yes. line? Yes, Brilliant. Well, I wish you the best of luck. I hope oh, you've taken you. Alex's points on board. And thank you very much for coming to chat thank to us today. Thank you very much. You did brilliantly. It's so hard to be fluent when faced with that kind of questioning. And there's plenty there. Hopefully, between everything, else, everything we've done today, yeah. you're really going to start to put Eden Lodge on the map. Alex has one more surprise to make sure Eden Lodge really stands out from the crowd. The other thing I wanted to say to you is I am going to sort out a swimming pool for you. Thank you very much. But it is up to you to start thinking about revenue streams. So I'm yes. going to get it up and running again for you. OK. And yep. I think Bob's your uncle. We'll be there. Embracing their budget status, Ziggy begins to cut back on the non-essentials water in a glass, which I think is a really good idea. We're doing it for all the rooms, uh, so no orange juice and water anymore. So overall, over a year, I would think that would probably save us about 300 quid. True to Alex's word, work begins on the indoor swimming pool. And the once cluttered indoor tip has been turned into a luxurious, up-to-date pool facility. Ideal for the holidaying guest. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's fabulous. It's looking great, isn't it? Yeah. Look at the deck chairs and the. Look at the deck chairs one another way. Fantastic. Can't get over it. It's brilliant. With few hotels in the area offering a pool, it's another unique selling point for Eden Lodge. With Eden Lodge's profile on the up, Ziggy turns his hand to the guest lounge that Alex hated so much. And Lynn jumps on the bandwagon too, revamping the dining room selectively. I've listened to Alex and I've 
change the dining room accordingly. The dandelion theme is to go with the new dandelion logo. The only thing I do, don't like very much is that dandelions associated with wetting the bed, aren't they? The swimming pool and bedrooms are now ready for action. To start offering exclusive use to large parties, Alex has a plan to get the ball rolling. I have arranged. In less than 48 hours, we are going to have three lots of companies that run dive classes. To oh, fantastic. So they are interested in running residential courses. Right. Okay. So what I want you to do is sit down and work out some packages. For a full day exclusive use of the pool. OK, my darlings. Okay. Yes? Yeah, definitely. Yes, I'm looking forward to it so much. OK, cheers. Thank you very much. See you bye. soon. Bye-bye. Alex wants Lynn and Ziggy to hire out Eden Lodge to local dive school students. But if the b and is to start turning a profit, the couple will have to put together a cost-effective package. Scary. I just think we're <laughs> going to be plucking numbers out of the air. I think Lynn and Ziggy have absolutely no idea about what's happening financially with their business. As long as they've got enough money to eat and clothe and heat the place, I think that they don't really look any further than that. With the clock ticking, pressure mounts. £4.75 is for the packed lunch. For £4.99. What, 99 What's 99 about? Psychology. It's not psychology, it's stu that's stupid. And when it comes to the unfinished piano room, it's panic stations. Behind me is a friend helping me out with some of the plastering because when we steamed off the wallpaper, the plaster fell off. There's so many things that could go wrong with the piano room makeover, um, from the choice of colours to the level of finish. The whole place seems to be up, you know, in turmoil. He doesn't have very long to do it, and uh, what I've seen so far is that he tends to start a job and not finish it properly. You just panic. I don't seem to be doing anything, but there's loads I'm doing. You know, what I really want to encourage both Lynn and Ziggy to do is to see a project to its final conclusion. Yeah, she does have a lacking confidence when it comes to me, unfortunately. Everything turns out all right in the end. He's not going to get it finished. Can Lynn and Ziggy pull it together in time? What is the point of you working and not making a profit? Or will it be man overboard? You couldn't even dream of offering this for 4 75 a person, do you not? I don't know. Alex Polizzi is at the Eden Lodge in Falmouth, helping couple Lynn and Ziggy transform their cluttered hotel into a thriving B&B. &B. Oh, it's fabulous. Can we charge 200 quid? <laughs> <laughs> After having their bedrooms and pool area refurbished, the couple were inspired to update their rundown guest lounge. It'll be finished before Alex sees it, or I won't be seeing Alex. <laughs> In a bid to increase revenue, Alex has put together a plan. Today, I have invited some owners of dive schools who could potentially be interested in using Eden Lodge for residential-based diving courses. Impress the dive schools, and Lynn and Ziggy could find a whole new market with residential bookings. They could have four or five nights accommodation, they could have all their meals here, they could use a pool for a couple of days. Basically, what this would do is it would um, make an immediate hike in their occupancy levels. Today's the big day. Ziggy puts his welcome speech to the test, oh, but he's up to his old well. tricks. Excuse me, can you pay attention? Thank you. Oh, no, don't be this silly. Way. Don't mess about. Just say what I'm you're going to really say. Gonna say that, I haven't got time for this, Sig. Um, Hurry up. All right, all right. Well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Eden Lodge. The swimming pool is up and running. You could say what your name is. You could say, hi, I'm Ziggy. Thanks. And any problems or any questions, please come and see me at any time. Fantastic. All right, then, well, let's crack on now. <laughs> Alex is back. Hello, hello. And wants to make hello. sure the couple aren't undercharging on their package prices. Hello. hello. How are you? In your piratical <laughs> look. <laughs> How is everything since I last saw you? Oh, really good. And you're ready for the hordes who are coming today? Yes. How has it gone with the costings? We're having an argument over evening meals. I'm sure you've done it too cheap. What have but you done? That's right, you've done it too cheap. Ten pounds, he says. I put ten pounds. I said twelve. But I just thought it would make it, you know, people will want to eat in if it's... When is the last time you went out anywhere and paid £10 for two courses? Yeah. I mean, you'd struggle to do that at a, 
at a burger joint, things you have to buy in, you must be making a profit on. Yeah. Ten pounds is far too cheap for an evening. Yeah. Really. Yeah. It should be fifteen quid. You know, there's no point them doing this in the same way as they've done everything else, which it means a lot of work for them and ultimately no profit. Before the guests arrive, Ziggy wants to show off his new lounge, originally a tired and rather uninviting space. Ooh, look at this. This is amazing. Do you like it? I love it. I don't yeah. think I could see the wood for the trees before. I thought the other room looked great, great. but now I see this, it looks great. Yeah, much it better. Does. It's a really pretty room now. Let's hope our divers think so too. Yeah. With a guest lounge now fit for purpose, Eden Lodge's promotional launch can begin in earnest. Um, so I just wanted to be very businesslike. Yeah. yeah. Charming, obviously, yeah. and welcoming. Yeah. yeah. Today's three diving school instructors and their students will road test the pool, sample lunch, and view the new and improved rooms. So we start doing the formal part of the day, which yes. is welcoming in yes. the divers. Hello, Hello. welcome Hi. to Eden Lodge. I'm Ziggy, this is my wife, Lynn. Lynn and Ziggy are very nervous, and they're definitely outside their comfort zone. I think they have just spent so long trying to get the physical building up to this standard that maybe they haven't given quite enough thought to the refinements of welcoming these people in. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Eden Lodge. This is my wife, Lynn. We're the proprietors. Some of you may know us, some of you may not. For those that don't, I'm Ziggy, and this is Lynn. Um, um, so, <laughs> but nerves get the better of Ziggy. Oh yes, this is a guest house as well as a, a facility to use, so please treat the place with respect, because uh, guests may be coming in and going or asleep. Uh, I'll show you the pool. <laughs> Speedy. <laughs> so if you'd like to follow me, I'll show you the pool. That went all right, didn't it? Yeah, very well. <laughs> bit rushed, he could have rushed. taken a breath. Yeah. He could have taken a breath between yeah. speaking. Oh, well. <laughs> Everything OK? Absolutely super. Good, good, good. With Ziggy looking after the divers, it's down to Lynn to prepare a sample lunch buffet. Looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, All right, <laughs> if you want to join us. Nice it's a nice sight. fantastic. Do you see yourself doing any of this? Uh, no. I only get undressed when it's over 30 degrees. <laughs> It's all going swimmingly, and even the rooms get a thumbs up. Very impressed with the room. Absolutely fantastic. I like it. I like the, the lighter colours. It um, almost feels like home. <laughs> Lynn's spread has stacked up nicely, but priced at just £4.75 per head, Alex has concerns. Darling, I would like to point out that you couldn't even dream of offering this for £4.75 a person, and I think you would struggle to offer this for £6 quid a person. Do you not? I don't know. We have the bills from the, from the shopping. Yeah. What I suggest we do is we tot up what's on this table, yeah. divide it by the number of guests there are and see what answer we yeah. come up with, because I okay. think you'll be surprised. While the divers tuck into lunch, the hotel inspector's suspicions are confirmed. This is the receipt for the shopping. Yeah. I have divided it by the number of covers, and it means that you have spent £5.30 a head. So, if you had charged £4.75, you would already be operating at a loss. OK? I think I'll, I'll um, frame my repossession notice, which I got over, and then that'll always remind me that I've got to make a profit. <laughs> OK. All yours. Thank you very much. With calculations once again letting the couple down, Alex calls an emergency meeting. What is the point of you working and not making a profit? I can't believe I haven't got this through to you. No, I do agree that, but we've got to make <laughs> this is really people big. want we've got to... to get out of that one. I know, darling, but listen, I'm so saying, six how pounds. much is it? Uh, yes. How much, when you go out and buy a sandwich? OK. What is it? Six pounds. At least four quid. I don't know, I don't ever buy a sandwich. And they're going to do a residential yeah. course. So in the high season, that's 35 quid. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So you, then you add 35 plus 12 plus 6. Yeah. And you have an answer, and it ain't 48. <laughs> <laughs> it's 53. I can't say that I'm completely confident yet, but I hope I've put a bit of backbone into Lynn about her figures. Because as long as the pool is OK and the price is right, we know we have a captive market. So it's all theirs to lose. Sums agreed. 
can Lynn and Ziggy successfully market Eden Lodge at £53 a head per night in their final sales pitch? We want to tailor our, our pricing to suit you and um, we've done an hourly rate for the pool. The ballpark figures were £15 an hour and then obviously we've got residential uh, courses which would be £53 per day. That would be bed, that, breakfast and evening meal. And inclusive of the pool, isn't that? Yeah. Did you want to add anything? Though? No, you're doing very well. Yeah. Have Lynn and Ziggy done enough? Superb, excellent and far exceeded our expectations. The pool is perfect for what we want to use it for. Yeah, we'll definitely be back. I must say, I thought that you did incredibly well, darling. I know oh, that you. Um, I know that you were uncomfortable. No one gasped and went, oh, "What? Fifty-three no. pounds a day? Are you mad?" No one yes. did that, did no, they? Did. They, they all... responded really well. Did, well, they? exactly, because really it was cheaper than yes. they expected. Yes, that's a lesson. Yeah. So I really wish you every luck. Thank you. Longing to hear about your enormous success in the future. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much. I'm pretty confident that I've done everything that I can and that these two have really listened to everything. Good luck. Take care. See you soon. And that they're on a much more hopeful path than they have been before. We feel reborn. Like start, really, yeah, like like starting like over. Yeah. Starting over. I feel like we're starting a new business. All in all, total success. Very good, yeah. Us, definitely.